Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Kapil and today I am going to give you a long term review along with complete setup of Netgear Ready NAS 214 desktop storage. So here it is. This is how it looks. I have this like I bought this in April 2019 actually. And I have been using it like so almost for the past 3 years. Uh, and this is my what do you say local backup server you can say I like take backup of my Mac and everything else on this it even acts as a file server for me and earlier I even used it as a streaming server I was I have installed Plask and I was even using it for streaming media uh, for my home network basically home office network so I have used it for like more than three years now so I thought I should give you a review because it is definitely a very good storage of NAS system for home usage or home office. Let me first give you some brief about it. Uh, it comes with a storage capacity of up to 48 TB. That's huge. Uh, it comes with four bays. Let me show you. See, this is how it looks and we can take out each tray like this just by pressing this button and then pulling it out so since uh, I don't have much data I'm using just one drive it's a Western Digital 2TB drive it's a NAS ready drive and rest of my trays are empty I don't need them actually uh, but if in future I need more storage I can definitely add more drives to it let me put this drive back okay so it's in this is a power button and these are LED light indicators about power and disk activities it even comes with a USB port in the front then this is a small LED display that shows the IP address and some information as and when needed so let's look at the back here it comes with a handle to pick it up again it comes with multiple ports at the back uh, there are two USB type A ports this is the power supply and it even comes with two Ethernet ports uh, so that you can like increase the throughput you can basically aggregate the network ports uh, this is the exhaust regarding this I'm not sure what is the purpose of this particular port but I think uh, it's uh, maybe most likely for troubleshooting or for the service center. So I won't talk about for this particular port. So that's it. It is the basic the exact model number is RN21400. Okay, now actually I don't use it anywhere near my desk. I what I have done is I keep this in my basement. So I'll just give you a look over there. So I keep it in my basement with a wire running directly from my main router to this one and I access it over network so let me put it back on the network I have already done a factory reset so that I can show you full setup how I am able to set it up quickly connected it to the network and booted it so it's booting right now and then I will show you how I can even get the IP address the IP address that's assigned to it so that once I get the IP address I can actually log into it and do the complete setup see it is already displaying the ip address over here just in case if you miss or you don't see it what you can do is simply press this power button once and it will again display the ip address okay let me just press it again see currently it's showing nine data if i press it once more it shows the ip address so now we have already have the ip address and the nas is connected to our local network to my router directly and it's powered on and we already got the ip address so now what next now to set it up what we are going to do is we are simply going to log in to the default to the ip address we just need to type that particular ip address in our browser window it was 10.0.0.2 see uh, as soon as I log in now it's asking me to set up let's proceed with it next it's asking 
set time and date so I will just select my time zone it's GMT plus 530 Mumbai Kolkata and fine time set time and date automatically next it's asking for a name so I, we can leave like a, it's basically asking for a host name so we can use the default one if you want okay I will just uh, use something else backup next and now it's asking uh, for email server account uh, just in case uh, if you want it to send an email to us if there is any issue or something so i think i will just skip it if it's possible okay we can skip actually now it's now it's asking us to set the admin password so i will just set that next there are even options for recovery question, recovery answer, password, recovery email. So I'm just uh, leaving all that for now. Next. Yes. Volume configuration. Congratulations. Now we have to log in with the password that I've set. So username was admin and password what I have set earlier. So finally we are logged in so this is the basic setup now it's actually your nest cloud is login with your username and password see if you want you can even install Plex media server and all those things we will go on to that in a later on so now it's asking for volumes see right now I have just one 2 TB drive in it so I cannot set up RAID or anything but you have multiple drives you can definitely set up RAID 0, 1, 10 whatever you want all those options will come up but since I have a single drive so nothing to worry about RAID performance like it is displaying all the information settings okay fine now this is over here and shares now if you want to create a network share or something we can actually create it from here and we can even set permissions like for the home folder uh, by default the admin has permission and whatever permission we want to set we can do that uh, and uh, let me do a few more things okay now let I am on the accounts section over here I can create new users if I want but I don't need it because I am the only one using it now since I am a Mac user I, I actually use time machine so what I am going to do is over here go to time machine so I am creating a time machine there are two options private time machine and shared time machine I just need a shared time machine so that I can use my multiple Macs or use the same time machine the same volume with all my Macs so over here I am creating shared time machine on readiness and the capacity that I need Okay, it's not allowing me more than 1800 so fine let's keep it at 1800 okay now let's go to a Mac and see if we can access this time machine open time machine preferences select disk see avail in available disk you can see the time machine use disk use both because I am using even another disk over here now I need to provide the pass username and password that I set over there earlier. Connect. And it's connected. Now what is this showing? Time machine 1.8 TB available waiting to backup. So it will take backup on time machine on its own. So this was a basic setup for a ready NAS. There are like many more things that you can actually achieve with it. Uh, but I don't have a windows system with me so I would have even shown you some windows features over here but okay like let me show you a few more things that it has it has a ready cloud option ready cloud is just like a OneDrive or G drive but it's your personal cloud that you can access from anywhere but for that again you need to uh, set up a dynamic DNS and all those things 
but it's available and if you want to access it locally then too it's available but since i'm using a single drive there is no point in using a cloud based system if that drive fails all my data is gone so i just use this as a backup nothing else over here you uh, if you go into accounts you can create multiple users in network see it show it's showing both the network interfaces by right now it's connected to eth1 so it's showing the ip address and all those information And over here you can actually create new folders and everything if you want. I have to click on browse and then plus sign. And now it's asking what kind of share I want to create. I can give name and all those information. And also what protocol I want. Like whether I want SMB, NFS, AFP, DLNA, FTP, RSync, HTTP. There are so many tons of options. I don't need any of this so I am not creating any of this. But this was a basic setup. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, make sure to like it and do subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified of future upcoming videos because I will be regularly making such technical or helpful videos with uh, some setup information, even reviews and all those things. But in general, I will say this is like a perfect network storage for home or office use. So bye for now. Have a great day.